Hello everyone and welcome to my next Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed up or slow down audio and video. Welcome to part 6 of my Blender video editing tutorial series. In this part, I'm going to show you how to speed up or slow down your video and your audio. And I'm also going to show you how to slowly transition your audio and video from being slow to fast and fast to slow. So if you're doing something like a time lapse video or something, I'm going to show you how to just speed it up. Or if you want to do like a slow mo video or something, I'm going to show you that as well. And uh, this is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using this footage uh, that I took of myself jumping and then we're gonna slow it down and then speed it back up. So first of all you need to get your footage that you want to speed up or slow down. So whether that's like a time lapse, maybe you're doing some like blender time lapse or something, or maybe it's a video like this where you want to like slow down something, uh, just figure out what you want to film. You may have already figured out what you want to film and then I'm just going to add in the video file into the Blender sequence editor. And you can see right here on the frame rate, when I added in this video, Blender automatically detected the frames per second of this video. So I filmed this on my phone camera and I turned it onto the slow-mo uh, mode on my camera. So, so on the slow motion mode, it sets it to 240 frames per second. And then let's just see what the resolution is. So I'm gonna click on my video, this darker blue strip, I'm gonna go to strip and then go to movie strip and then click on set render size. And you can see when my phone is doing slow-mo videos, it videos it at 1280 by 720. So I'm just going to drag this out to make the timeline a little bit bigger. So first I'm just gonna show you how to speed up or slow down your video without having to animate it at all. So make sure your strip is selected and I'm gonna press shift A and I'm gonna go to effect strip and click on speed control. And you can see now it has the speed control and there are a lot of settings uh, with the speed control right here. But if you make this smaller or bigger, it's actually going to change the speed of it. So basically if I make this smaller, you can see now it's really fast. But if I pull it way out, and let me just make the end frame bigger, now when I play it, you can see now it's slow. So if you want to slow it or speed it down to a exact length of time, then this is just super easy to do. And then if you wanna change how fast or slow the audio is, you can change this pitch. So one is the default, but if you wanna make it like double the speed, you could make it two. And now it sounds really fast, or you could make it to like 0.5 and now it's only like half the speed. Now you may have a problem with something here. Uh, that is when you try to grab the handle of the audio and pull it out, it's not gonna let you pull it out at all. So that may be an issue for you. So what I would suggest doing is just filming a longer video. Um, this video here, I actually, you know, set up the phone, turned it on and then walked over and jumped. So. I actually went and cut the video within Blender and made a quick little video, but you may want to add like a little bit of room at maybe the ending of it so that you can pull this out if you wanna make it a bit slower or a bit faster. So now I'm going to delete this speed control and I'm just gonna bring this back and I'm gonna change this back to just one of the pitch uh, just so that you can see that just so that it's back to normal. So if you just wanna slow down or speed up video, that's how to do that, it's pretty easy. Now I'm gonna show you how to animate the speed of the video. So let's save our file first. If you haven't done that yet, I'm just gonna go file and save. And I'm just gonna save that as slowmotion.blend and just save that on my computer. So now we need to figure out where we want the video to start to slow down or speed up. So I want it to start to slow down right here. So I am going to, uh, make sure you just have it set to where you want to start slowing down. And then I'm going to press shift K. So shift K is a hard cut. If you just press K, that's just a regular cut, but you'll be able to grab these handles here and move it around. But with a hard cut, it's not going to use any of the data um, past the video. So because I hard cutted it right here, it won't allow any of the video to play. So you can see it's just all paused right here. If I just did K, which is a normal cut, then I could still trim it using these handles here and it wouldn't really make any difference. And then we also need to cut the audio because we're gonna make the audio slowly slow down or slowly speed up. But I don't wanna hard cut it because I do wanna change the size of it later. So I'm just gonna press K on the audio. So this is Shift K and this is K. Now I'm gonna to go to the spot where I want the video to be the fully fastest or slowest. So I want it to be fully slow, the slowest point right here. So I'm gonna click on this, press Shift K, 
Then I'm gonna click on the audio and just press K. Now I can move over and just find the spot where I want it to be all the way slow. So just move it until you want it to start speeding back up again. So I want it to be all the way slow until here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So shift K on the video and then K on the audio. And then I wanna find the spot where I want it to be fully sped back up to normal speed. So I want that to be right around here. So again, shift K and then K. And then you can see I roll out of the scene. So now let's actually do some animating. So I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna press B and just select all these and I'll pull these out just to give it more room. Just drag these over here, pressing G and moving it over. And then these, we don't need to worry about these because these are the normal speed so they can just stay as they are. So let's go over to the very, very first frame of this strip. And I'm gonna press Shift A with the strip selected and I'm going to add the speed control. And I'm gonna be slowing this down, but if you're gonna be speeding up your video, it's the exact same thing, but you're just gonna change the values higher instead of lower. So what I'm going to do is uncheck the stretch to input strip length. So now we can actually manually control how fast or slow we want the video to be. So right now, right here, I want it to be set to one because one is the default, one is the, the normal speed. So I'm gonna change the speed factor to one and then I'm gonna hover my mouse over this value and I'll press I and that'll set a keyframe. You can see it's yellow because there's a keyframe there. Now I'm going to move over to the very last frame of this strip and you can see it's actually one back because you're uh, looking at the frame ahead of you. So just move one back like this so that you can actually uh, see it. And then we wanna change it to the speed that we wanna use. So I'm gonna change it to 0.2, so that'll be slower. If you want to be like double the speed, so faster, you would need to change it to like two. So just figure that out and you can play around with it. So now that I've set the speed factor, I'm gonna press I again, and that will set a keyframe for that speed but because the video is slowly getting slower, it's gonna need more time to get slower because it's slowing down. So what we need to do is click on this handle on the video and press G and pull the handle out. Then you can play your video and you can wait and see when the video freezes up. So because the video is slowly slowing down from uh, one to 0.2, it's gonna slowly slow down. And you can see right here, if I play this, it freezes right about here. So now I can just press G and pull this, uh, this handle here, and I can just move it until it freezes. So I'm just gonna keep on moving. I'm gonna use my arrow keys just to move along the frames and just wait until it completely freezes up right there. And then just find the exact point where it freezes up. So it freezes right here. So I'm just gonna set that right there. Now to set the audio, I'm gonna move over and go to the starting. And then I'm gonna click and drag this out and make it exactly the same length as the video. So just like that. Then right here with the uh, blue line at the starting of the audio, I'm gonna change the pitch. Just keep, actually I'm gonna just change it to one because I want it to start out as being the normal speed. And I'm gonna hover my mouse over and press I. And now we've set a keyframe for the pitch. Now I'll just move over and I'll go over to here to the very last one. Just uh, move this over and just go to the very last frame. And then I need to set this value to the same value that we set the video to. So we set the video uh, speed factor to 0.2. So the audio also needs to be 0.2. So I'll just change this to 0.2 and then press I again. So now we have two keyframes. You can see if I move along here, you can see it's going from one all the way down to 0.2. So now if I play this, you can see I slowly slow down and hopefully you can hear this in the video, but you can hear the audio kind of go and like slow down. It kind of sounds pretty cool. So now this one, this is the next one. So I'm gonna click on these two and drag them over here. And this, we want to be fully slow. We don't want it to speed up or slow down. We just want the jump to be completely slowed down. So I'm gonna press Shift A, add the speed control, and then uncheck this. And remember, if you're speeding up your video, you're just gonna do the same thing, but with the higher value, uh, whatever you want to speed it up to. Now I'm gonna change this 
2.2 because that was the same value here. And I don't need to add any keyframes because I'm not animating this. I'm just gonna uh, pull these over just to give this a little more room. And then I can click on this handle and pull it out. And we're gonna do the same thing. So just play your video until it freezes up because it's been used up. Let me just give it a little bit more room and then watch this and you can see, okay, so my video freezes up right about here. So I'll just zoom in and just find the exact point. And I can use uh, my arrow keys to move along the frames and just see when I freeze up. And there it is. So that's where I freeze up. And then this, I'm just gonna drag it with the handle. And you may have this problem. Basically what's happening is my video, if I just add my video in again, just the raw video, you can see it's only this long. And so the audio can't be pulled out any farther. So uh, if this is a problem to, for you, you may wanna just have some extra footage, like film yourself a little bit longer um, so that the audio can be stretched out more. Um, so this may or may not be an issue for you. If it is, what I'm gonna do is just drag this out as far as it can. Then I'm gonna change the pitch to 0.2. And then because all I'm hearing is kind of like a, like a low kind of atmospheric sound, I'm just going to duplicate this, just kind of move it up here. I will just make it smaller and then just stick it right there and then drag this smaller. So again, this would work better if you had a little bit more room and that way you'll be able to drag out this audio. Uh, but for me, for this video, it's not gonna really sound, you're not gonna really be able to hear anything because it's just kind of a low, uh, low pitched uh, noise in the background because it's so slow. Now I'm gonna select this and shift select this and press G and move it over. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna speed it back up. So let me just pull this out, give it some more room. And I'll also pull this out just to give us some more room on the timeline. So now move to the very starting of this strip. We're gonna press shift A again, add the speed control, and then uncheck this. And we're gonna change this to the same value, so 0.2 and then press I to add a keyframe. And then let's just move over to the last frame and then change this back to one. So it'll be back to the normal speed. And again, if you're speeding it up, you'll just change it back down to the normal speed, which is one. Oops, I, I made this point one, it needs to be one. So I'll change that back to one. Now I'll press I. So now it's at one, not point one, one. Now you can just uh, grab this uh, handle right here, pull it out with G. And then just play this and you can see it starts to speed up and it freezes right around here. So I'll just uh, move with the arrow keys just to see when it freezes up right here. That's the last one. And now we'll do the same thing for this. So I'll go over here and then I'll pull this out to match the same length as its strip. And then click on this, change the pitch to 0.2. Make sure you're not changing the volume, you're changing the pitch, unless you want to animate the volume uh, to 0.2. And then I'm going to move over to the last frame, change it back to one, and add another keyframe by pressing I. And now this last one right here, this is just going to be the normal speed. So I can press G and just move it over. So now if we play this, let me just uh, make this full screen. To make this full screen, I can move my mouse over it and press control space bar. And then to make it back, go back, I can press control space bar again, or I can click on this back to previous. So I'll just make this a uh, full screen and then let's just watch it. There we go. <laughs> I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to move the blue line to wherever I want the end frame to be. I'll press uh, control end and that'll set the end frame. And now we can just do a few settings. Um, so I want the file format to be FFmpeg video. And then on the encoding, I like to use MPEG4. And then uh, on the video codec, I use H2, H.264. And then I just use medium quality and good. Those are the defaults. And then on the audio, I like to use ACC, um, but you can also use MP3. I would suggest using MP3 if you're gonna upload this to YouTube, because I found that if you use ACC, um, YouTube, the YouTube servers won't be able to finish processing the video. So I just use ACC most of the time, but if I'm uploading it to YouTube, then I would use MP3. Okay, and then let's just uh, save our file again by going File, Save, and then I can go up here 
and click on render animation or control F12. And here is the finished video. So uh, speeding up and slowing down video is really fun. I quite enjoy it. If you guys make a video and you post it online, I'd like to see it if you guys follow this tutorial. So if you want to, you can uh, post a link in the comments to your sped up or slowed down video and I'll check it out. So in the next part of this tutorial series and possibly the last video in this tutorial series, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a program called Handbrake. It's another free and open source software, and it's a really great program for converting videos. So I'm going to show you how to convert a video and change the frame rate to match it up with another video frame rate. Because you may have two videos that you want to video edit together, but if the frame rate is different on both of those videos, then you're gonna have a lot of issues putting those together. So I'm gonna show you how to use Handbrake to convert those videos so that they're the same frame rate, and then you can easily video edit them together. If you'd like to support me and this channel, I do have a Blender Market store, and I also have a Gumroad store where I'm selling 3D models and assets and tutorials, and on my Patreon, I have have all these 3D models and assets and tutorials that you can get and I also have all the tutorial files on my Patreon. So these are some great ways to support me if you'd like to help out but even just following me on YouTube and watching my videos are a really great way to help out so thank you for your support. So if you want to join me in the next part and possibly last part of this tutorial series uh, you can click on the link right up there and it'll also be in the video description. Thank you very much for watching I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.